Hello and welcome to Straight to the Comments where we read the comment sections of tabloid news articles. Please stay to the end of the video to hear my opinion on this topic and of course let me know your opinion by leaving a comment. Please like and subscribe. People have to pay their bills and eat. Post Malone slams coronavirus lockdown and attacks government mask mandate. Grammy nominated rapper blasted California sitters fining non mask wearers. Malone, 25, made comments during appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast. He also hit out at lockdown measures, saying they were ruining economy. Backquote Everybody has to be able to survive and pay their bills and eat, Malone said. Rapper Post Malone said he opposes strict lockdown measures and he doesn't think the government should be forcing people to wear masks to stop the spread of COVID-19, though he urges the public to cover their face anyway. Backquote It's weird to me that there is, it's like me in school, having to wear asterisk 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 you tuck in your shirt, or else you get detention, or whatever, the six-time Grammy nominee told Joe Rogan on his popular podcast The Joe Rogan Experience on Wednesday. Backquote It's weird to be forced to wear something. The artist whose legal name is Austin Richard Post added, backquote at the end of the day, it all comes down to respect for other people. Backquote it's not a government thing. Malone said he didn't agree with a new policy enacted by several citizens and around Los Angeles that imposed fines of hundreds of dollars on those caught not wearing a mask in public. Backquote you can get a fine for not wearing a mask and sometimes it's up to $600. Malone said. He then agreed with Rogan about the need to lift the lockdown in order to allow economic life to flourish once again. Backquote everybody has to live their life, Malone said. Backquote everybody has to be able to survive and pay their bills and eat. As coronavirus cases continue to climb in California, some cities have stepped up efforts to force citizens to wear masks. In April, Beverly Hills became the first city to mandate masks, threatening those who failed to comply with fines ranging from $100 for the first offense to $500 for the third and subsequent offenses. Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies earlier this month said they would begin issuing citations for residents of West Hollywood who did not wear masks in public. First-time offenders will be hit with a $250 fine and a $50 fee for a total of $300, according to LASD. Last month, Governor Gavin Newsom issued a statewide ordering requiring everyone to wear a face covering. Malone was not in favor of the new policy. LA is rough. $300, because maybe someone sees you eating, and you don't have a mask on, and then you're stuck with a ref asterisk 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 G ticket, he said. It blows my mind. California health officials reported the state's first coronavirus death of a child on Friday as a statewide tally of fatalities surpassed 9,000, saying the victim was a teenager who had other health conditions. The teenager's death occurred in the Central Valley, but officials at the State Department of Public Health released no other details, citing privacy rules. The best rated comments. I'm not a huge fan of his music, but I've seen a few of this guy's interviews despite his appearance he's really down to earth and seemed like a really nice guy. Keyword is survive posty, folks can't eat dead or on respirators. He is a closet Trump supporter. Just could never admit it in his line of work. 25. Honestly thought he was pushing 40. Thank you Dr. Malone. Nice to hear from an expert in these trying times. Lmao. The tattoos all over Malone's face show that he is not great at making choices. Wearing a mask is hardly a sacrifice. For someone who is against face coverings he has covered his face a lot. Ask the WWI generation about sacrifice. Wearing a mask is hardly nothing to complain about. Tell you what, I'm picking up extra hours working 12 hours a day because everyone is scared of the virus and quit. My kids rarely see me, it sucks, 
but I have to pay my bills. However, I have paid down all my debt with overtime. Maybe he would change his mind if a close family member had passed away from this awful pandemic. The quicker people comply with the rules the sooner this virus will go away. Wearing a mask allows people to go out to work and therefore pay bills. That's why they want you to wear a mask so they can lift lockdown restrictions even further so people can work and earn money. What did he think the government were doing when they said wear a mask? They just made it up to annoy people. Don't think I will take on any advice from someone who has had their face scribbled on. People don't have respect for each other. That's why the government needs to mandate it. If every celeb sponsored 100 families with $1,000 per month for 10 months it would really re -y help and cost them only a million each. Less tax relief, that would be very admirable. You can eat and pay bills while wearing a mask. You can't if you are dead. As if wearing a mask is like going to war or a real sacrifice. Creeps. I'm definitely taking health and financial advice from a guy with tattoos on his face. I get all my advice from guys with face tattoos. I understand both sides of the argument. I have no idea who is right and who isn't. No one wants to go broke and starve. No one wants to get sick and pass away either. Yes and wearing a mask allows the economy to open back up. It has been shown in study after study that wearing a simple cloth mask blocks 100% of FHE aerosolized water droplets exhaled from a speaker's mouth from dispersing into the air. Countries that have contained the virus all have been wearing masks from the beginning of the pandemic. What a stupid POS. I don't wear a mask because I think it eliminates my risk. I wear it because it greatly reduces my risk of catching it or spreading it. Because I care about other people even if they're strangers. Because I'm not a selfish, insecure moron that perceives my freedom being threatened over something so benign. Weird to be forced to wear something. The last time I checked we weren't allowed to wander naked publicly. I'll trust my doctor over a rapper on how to care for my family. I spent the day delivering critically needed blood supplies. I had to mask up, goggles, face shield, double gloves, head cover, change my clothes, shower, trust me, post. Masks are critical. That's why every healthcare worker who is battling this in any way wears them, and has worn them for literally hundreds of years. If you don't like wearing a mask, you sure won't like wearing a respirator. If masks harm the wearer, he'd have a point. At worst, masks are worthless and a minor inconvenience. At best, they prevent spread and save lives. This isn't a sophist choice. I always turn to Post Malone for all my news on everything. He is a genius. Just look at how he decorated his face. LOL. Headline is not true. If you listen to the interview, he said people should wear masks out of courtesy and respect, but feels wearing them should not be mandated. Yes, it's weird to try to stop the spread of a deadly virus by covering your mouth and nose and socially distancing. So weird. Good for him for speaking up. Enough's enough we need to get back to normal life and those who are at higher risk can take the necessary steps to protect themselves. I work at a successful company that's been around for 30 years and all this has caused us to be hanging on by a thread. So many others haven't been able to hang on. I do think there is some political motivation here, and I'm over it. Why would a grown man do that to his face? Hilarious. Yay sure easy for a millionaire to say. And why do you look like a bunch of preschoolers got drunk and drew their favorite cartoons all over you? Has anyone told him that his tattoos are ridiculous? The fact that he decided to tattoo his face automatically makes me question anything he has to say. 
one to two needle too close to the noggin me thinks. What he meant is, he want people to go out, so that clubs will give him royalties for playing his songs. The worst rated comments. He's right. Face mask are crap they don't work. Betty's a democrat. I wear my mask, only because I'm not going to raise a big stink out of it, but if I had a choice I would take that sh asterisk t off immediately. F asterisk a mask. F asterisk the new norm and F asterisk all you mask patrols out there. Mind your own business. Smart guy. Disturbed but smart. If you walk around without clothes you'll get fined too. A mask is also clothing. Why is post serial struggling with this concept? Face tattoos are a sign of mental iiiiness. That said, he is correct. Masks shouldn't be mandated. If we had competent leadership from Trump and Jared this would be over now. He's secretly a Trump supporter I got into argument with him after sleeping with him for clout. Obviously I'm not gonna do him for free. Something has to be in it for me. What the H. If you're happy with that stay. We don't want you. He has failed as a singer. All of his songs are utterly terrible. He's right. Finally. Someone who is making sense. Smart guy. Won't listen to him any longer. Suck it up and follow the rules for yourself and your fellow man. Ah yes, Joe Rogan the champagne socialist who endorsed a Marxist to become Pottis, who is now ramping up his anti-Trump rhetoric on his platform so that Biden, yes Biden takes over. How to handle this COVID-19 situation? Since the number of C-19 deaths, that is where the only causes C-19, is 1,800. 5,000, if annualized, this conage is without due cause. So, follow the Swedish route. Let life go on as normal normal. Use data, so don't protect everyone, but the vulnerable. Forget the blind application of masks and distancing. Sanitize hospitals and old care facilities. That is it. And what should the, potentially, vulnerable do? 1. Have your existing deaths treated. Ironically, blind lockdown precluded that, To Check your condition on a usual basis, as medical protocol requires for your underlying illness 3. If feel weak, ask for a test 4. If you are usually in contact with the same pool of people, ask them to take a test, regularly 5. If it makes you feel better, wear a mask, for a short time, and only once, or clean your mask, 6. If it soothes you psychologically, take a test 7. Keep calm. Ugh cannot stand him. Oddly enough, I find him sexy. I have no idea why. Never thought much of the guy. I now have a newfound respect. Another illiterate fool who has no credibility to talk about health crisis. He should get a tattoo that says, I'm a fool right on his forehead. Mask mandate is necessary just like how we have drunk driving laws, because we need to protect the general public from selfish considerate M0 rons. A ruined economy as opposed to being dead. Oh gee, that's a tough one. Let me see, MMM. Love you and your Texas common sense post. Guess he never wants to tour again. Selfish. Very talented musician, but perhaps not much common sense. Oh do shut up no mark. May COVID-19 find its way to your unmasked face. He has tattoos on his face. What do you expect? Intellect? Law doesn't say you have to wear mask while you eat, idiot. I don't trust anyone with face tattoo sorry. The most recent comments. It's not the federal government, Trump. It's those Democrats you keep voting for in California making state rules. Masks only work if you sneeze, 
cough or talk loud close to someone. Musicians have been touring since forever. Real players play before audiences. What are you going on about? AI facial recognition is ready. I think many people feel the way he does. And he is definitely entitled to do that in America. It's not China and this to shall pass. Will you be the one in your seat? Or are you going to think for yourself? Either way you want to believe you can. America, it's where we live. Tired of people, Democrats, saying they will starve. We have food banks and food stamps. You sem and quit being dramatic. The more it is seen how widespread infection has been, the lower the death rate. New estimates from Sweden suggest that only 1 in 10,000 people under 50 will die from the virus, compared to 1 in 14 of people over 80 and 1 in 6 of those over 90. And how many people are now destitute from no work? How many people are threatened with eviction, or losing their homes due to mortgage non-payments? How many people are waiting hours at food banks? I don't see any of those figures in mass media. If you increase the rates to 100 in 10,000 inches, is that worth wrecking the economy? Oh dear. Not that I'd wish it on anyone but, if he or one of his close family or friends got it, he would soon change his mind. I had it at the beginning of all this, and I was laid up for 4 weeks. Some people are so small minded. Dude's hard to look at. Thank you, dude. Now sit down. Pure rubbish. Thailand gave us a 9pm curfew, new year cancelled, no alcohol for one month, mandatory masks and tracing. Couldn't even walk in a park everything is normal now, we are working and travelling around supporting locals. Silly boy. Yes, why even wear pants or any clothes? The government is out of control, joking of course. These people are nuts jobs. If anyone should be wearing a mask he should, he is hard to look at. Little toad and stupid as a deep sea slug. He just wants to get wasted at his concerts again. I don't mind complying and wearing a mask, but businesses really are suffering. Maybe start opening again and practicing six foot distance, mask wearing and still being able to patronize businesses? His music is trash and it's vile how that cultural appropriator has had a career for so long. Economic life is not going to flourish until this under control. Step away from the mickey so misguided. There's a place for people that don't want to wear masks. It is called Florida. Also, you can find plenty of like-minded people at your local hospital. But stay away from the rest of us. Get with the program post, do your part as an example, to help stop the spread of the virus and stop whining. The voice of sanity. Not everyone is a sheep. That's what I have been doing. Everyone is well aware of the risks by now. The sad part is the majority of Post Malone's fans are young and Gen Z, and they will see this, and continue to act recklessly. It's weird to be forced to wear something. You mean like no shirt, no shoes, no service? People wear pants, in part to prevent the spread of putrefactive bacteria. Covering up to prevent the spread of body fluids and bacteria has been a thing for like a really really long time. Wearing a mask is showing respect for others. This whole mask and positive test results debacle is like a giant octopus in a stranglehold on the country. If Trump were to lose the election I bet my bottom dollar masks and numbers will be gone within two weeks. Who are all these people testing positive? Where are the lines? I have never known of anyone who tested positive for this flu and still don't. I tell you, it is lies and manipulation. Fines for no masks, masks in parks, zoos closed. This is destroying the country, the will of the people, and will not affect the outcome of Trump winning. Get that virus dude and you'll change your mind about wearing a mask, if you survive. 
like I'm going to take advice from a guy that tattoos his face. Face clown full of himself. Okay, here it is. Do you actually think your cloth face mask really prevents anything? A fiber from your facer mask looks like the size of a tree compared to the size of a virus and the virus just goes right through. Let alone the virus just goes right into your uncovered eyes. One of the best masks is the N95 which filters particles as small as 3 microns. A virus is 0.01 microns. We are living in a fool's paradise. Tough decision mask up, and keep the infections low until they are down to a control level, so normal life can resume, or just go mask free and spread the infection, and see fatalities rise, and they and several in their family, may never pay a bill ever again. Agree 100%. Okay, who should I listen to? The guy with the face full of tattoos. The orange clown or the medical expert with decades of experience? HMM. I'm sick of it all too. Yes, this is who I will be taking life advice from. He doesn't ride the subway I'm guessing. Post Malone wouldn't understand COVID-19 or a virus in general, if you sent a team to teach him. Next. I bet he didn't say that when he was poor. Let's be real, Malone isn't referring to working class families when he speaks about needing to pay bills and eat. He's referring to himself and his need to pay his hose and Lamborghini creditor. If he actually put out decent music that people wouldn't hesitate to buy, he wouldn't need to tour. But, like many rappers with marginal talent, the only way he can make money is to tour. I don't see B and Sor Eminem whining about COVID-19. I give him credit for seeing the BS behind all of it. He is a free thinker, the corona hysteria has gone too far for the real death figures, which are and high as a percent, and the economy, and thus quality of life, is going down the pan. How many more people will die from desperate on depression, poverty, miss medical care etc. If you're dead you can't pay your bills. Oh go and have a shower or something, and do something useful. The face tattooed are ridiculous and look clownish. He needs a mask. Says the idiot with writing on his face. It's because of fools like him with his look at me and the rebel attitude that this virus is making a comeback and claiming more victims. A very real danger to people who should be treated as such. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. Personally I am also reluctant to see mandates and fines applied however I do think it's sometimes necessary because some people can't be trusted to act in the interest of safety similar to why we need seat belt laws. Do you agree or disagree? Please like and subscribe for 4 videos a week.